All right, first I'm gonna actually do a little quick tutorial on my brows and I'm actually using an eyeliner gel from NYX. This is dark brown and I'm going to use that to shape my brows. I just like a really carved out, really intense brow so I felt like this product does it. But I did get the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow so if you want a tutorial on how I do my brows using that product, let me know in the comments down below. And then, of course, taking a spoolie, it's always essential to do so, and combing the product through so that it's not too stark. Then taking my HG Concealer from NYX and a concealer brush, any kind of concealer brush will do, and then just kind of carving out and cleaning up the edges. Sorry, I went a little heavy-handed on this, so you guys have to bear with me. I do clean it up towards the end of this little tutorial of my brows. All right, and then I'm just cleaning that up. See, right there. And then I will set everything with my Benefit Gimme Brow in 03 and just comb it through your brows. All right, so now onto the eyes. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, as per usual. This is just the original formula. Then taking my shade Tempura from the Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia and setting my primer. Then I'll take Lula from the same palette and putting that into my crease to have my bases down. All right, I'm gonna take Nebula from the Kat Von D Matte Metal Palette, and I'm going to start pressing that on the outer corner, and I'm just using a uh, brush from my Ultimate Basics Palette from Urban Decay. Then I'll take Fringe, and I'll buff the edges out with Fringe, and I'm using my Anastasia uh, brush from my Modern Renaissance Palette. And then I felt like it needed more blue, so I went in with Velour from the same Kat Von D Palette, and I'm just packing that on, same brush. All right, I kind of mixed the two, Velour and Nebula, because I felt like they went really well together, and I decided to go with a halo effect, so I put that in my inner corner to about the middle. You want to put it to where your iris is. And then I'm buffing those edges out with fringe again. And then packing on more color. And then what I like about this brush is it has two ends, so I kind of put fringe on the other fluffier end, and then, of course, Nebula and Velour on that end, and just buffed it back and forth. So pack, and then buff, and then pack, and then buff. That's pretty much all you have to do. And then just kind of connect the two at the top right there in the crease. And then I'll take the shade uh, Tinsel, and this is from the same palette, the Kat Von D palette, and I'm going to pack that onto the middle portion where I left it blank. And then of course I'm going to blend those edges again, because you want to make sure this is well blended or else it'll look sloppy. And then I'll put more of Velour and Nebula connecting the Tinsel color and those two colors as well, because I want to make sure this is a very faded effect, very blended and nice. Alright, so I'm taking Ignite, and I'm going to put that in the crease with my Anastasia blending brush, and I'm just, that way it kind of makes it cohesive. And then I will go in with Stone onto my lower lash line. I usually mirror the same colors, but this time I just took the gray shade, and I put it on the outer and the inner portion, and then buffed it out with Fringe. And then I went with Tinsel, of course, and put that on the middle portion. Packed on some more, kind of put little glitter tears, but then I swept them away. And then buffing more of the stone shade as well. Alright, now I'm using this Jessie's Girl Loose Pigment in the shade Kiwi Rose and putting that in my inner corner because I like the green shift it had. And then taking my NYX Lip of the Day, I use it as eyeliner. It is the shade Kinetic. It's kind of like this real pretty purplish gray tone. It's really nice and it kind of went with the look. I kind of wanted to go with an icy look, but I kind of liked how this turned out more Aurora Borealis type. So yeah, just do a typical wing. Taking uh, any kind of blue eyeliner would work. Um, this is Prestige Cosmetics Total Intensity Liner. It's kind of like my base liners and then just putting that in my lash line and my waterline and of course finishing the look off with my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I've been loving this mascara. It's really nice. Honestly, I like it. 
So that's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, in person it looks a lot brighter, but on camera it kind of washes out just a little bit, but I really, really love the way it came out. I hope you guys can enjoy these videos for Christmas, and please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. So just let me know in the comments what else you want to see that's Christmassy, and I have another Christmas look coming up this week. Thank you guys. Bye.